that has exponential to my mind. Yeah. But I don't know whether it's the vice versa. So so far as anything like that happening, it's emotional. Okay. Emotional. You might do anything that comes to you. But if you don't have self control, you might end up ending your life. Okay. Yeah. So when it came to like that, I just have to control myself. Do I'm being pain, but I have to control myself and move on. When in doubt, speak the truth. I go by the name Flamboyant Lifestyle, aka what mankind. And this is a flamboyant lifestyle interview. Today I have a gentleman in the studio here. He's going to tell us so many things about himself. He's going to inspire us. He's going to motivate us. But I'm not talking too much. Let's go for a quick break. When I come back, I will introduce the gentleman to you. Stick and stay. If you just tuned in, you are still watching the Flamboyant Lifestyle interview. And as I said earlier on, today we have a gentle guy in the studio here. He's going to tell us so many things about his lifestyle. He's going to motivate us and also he's going to inspire us. So without not wasting our time, let's invite the guest onto the seat. Yo, bro. Yeah, awesome. yeah welcome to the Flamboyant Lifestyle interview. Thank you. It's a privilege to see you. Yeah. You are looking more handsome, bro. Thank you. Okay. For those who don't know you, have not seen you before. For the sake of them, we want to know. You. So, what's your name? My name is Morgan Samuel Jr. Hmm? Morgan Samuel Jr. Yeah. Okay. Popularly known as Berimaba Destiny. Oh, popularly known as Berimaba Destiny. Berimaba Destiny. 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 Yeah. Okay, okay. So, we are going to educational background. Uh -huh. Okay. So, where did you school in your primary days? My primary days, I schooled at uh, Crown Prince Academy. Crown Prince Academy. Where is it located? La Paz. La Paz. Okay, yeah. okay. And what about your high school, senior high school? Senior high school. Was, uh, I came straight to senior high school. I came straight to senior high school. What? Reading. Okay. What course did you do over there? General arts. General arts. Okay. So what are your relatives if you can remember? Okay. That's government, history, geography, and economics. Okay. Wow. Wow. Which year did you complete? 2015. 2015. Okay. That's cool. Okay. What about tertiary? Have you been in the tertiary institution? Yeah. I'm currently in the tertiary. What school is that? Accra Technical University. Accra Technical University. The one in Accra. Yes. Okay. So what course are you doing over there? I'm doing procurement. Procurement. Wow. Why did you choose that course? Okay. Actually, I didn't do business, but the rate at which uh, the economy of the state is going, I have to do something that will help me and help my family in the future. Okay. Help you and help your family. That's very deep. Yeah. You think about your future, uh, your your future and your family a lot. Why do you think about your family a lot, but not yourself? Because um, initially when I take my dad out, I'm the breadwinner. Wow. If my dad is not there, I'm the I'm the head of the kids. Oh, okay. my children, my siblings. Your siblings. Okay. Yeah. How many siblings do you have? We are six in number. You are six, yeah. and you are the eldest. Yes. Wow. Then you are small in body, but big in <laughs> inside. That's why they always say that don't mind the body, but mind the inside. Okay. Wow. 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 But some of my see smallish, but yeah, almighty. Okay. Let's. Move to the procurement. Where, which level are you now? Level 200. Level 200. Okay. So have you planned when you are done with your education, your tertiary education, have you planned to use it to help the country or just to help yourself and your family, as you said? Okay. Helping the country is also part of no but It's as like a gradual process. Okay. If I'm being employed in the government sector, then I'm helping the country. Okay, that's true. So when you're being employed in the government, sector automatically you help the country yeah. and also to automatically to, yeah. to bounce back to your family yeah. so it, it goes both in hand yeah. okay that was very cool have you been here before what happened okay so it was before uh, it was about money issue so there was a uh, we were collecting susu okay so we created a group and it's like every week someone takes his phone every week so it got to my week I don't know. The money was we were seventeen and okay. so it's like every week everybody to take hundred and seventy. Okay. So it was on Friday. I was like, okay, let me let them give me my own. I didn't hear from them. Saturday, 
You didn't hear from him? I didn't hear from him, but in the middle of like an afternoon. Okay. I was just there when he said how many things he is coming. Okay. He didn't tell me where it's coming from. Actually, I have to receive 117. Okay. But he didn't tell me where it was coming from all of a sudden. He just said 110. Not knowing he has a different mindset somewhere now. Like, I don't know whether he has a God in him somewhere. Okay. And he just sent the money. He will call me like, oh, Sammy, I'm sending this money to you. So, has it come or something like that? And then this is the amount I'm sending. This is the reason why, this is the reason why. He didn't just tell me. Okay, let's digest this conversation very well. Was it agreement that when your week ends, your money will be given to you? 170. All the people agreed. Yeah, Every people started. Yeah. Everyone was giving when yeah. it was their turn. Yeah. But it reached your turn for you to receive the 170 cities. He didn't send it to you, but he sent 110 yeah. instead of 170. Yeah. Did you call to comfort and tell asking that the money has not reached? When I got the money, I didn't call him to comfort because I, I knew him. Okay. I know he's a, by that time maybe. He's angry over me, like he has an angry issues with me. Why do you have do you have issue with him? No, I wasn't having issue with him, but if he comes up like that, I know he's a he's a friend to me, so I know how he's like. He behaves. You know yes. how he behaves, okay. So I have to ask uh, one member who is also part of it. And that's how he's going. Okay. So when he heard that I've asked the other member, I didn't answer him. Okay. It became a quarrel all together. All together. Yes. But you should you should have asked him because remember in the group is not the person who pay who will be paying you. It's the Sami guy who have been, who have to pay you. So you have to call him but unfortunately you call the other guy and it became a crap. So at at long last did he give you the money? He didn't. He, he didn't add it to me and I said when it's up you should take sixty cities from it and you should pay for the rest. And take my name out of this suit. Okay. But I told him, I told him that when it's up, me myself, I will give him the money. Okay. So you should give the money, ask him how you are giving to everybody. Yeah. So I will take the money and say, take this one and pay the rest. But still, it didn't happen that way. Yeah. So that was when you became very hurt. I, I became very hurt, but as time went on, I just had to go because. Okay. What was the things that you did before healing yourself? Or oh. were you like, you ignoring him? Or do you have something doing when you get hurt, you pass through before you become very okay within yourself? Yeah, when I get hurt, I know the person who made me for okay to have her head things on. And what so did you do again? I just have to ignore the person. Okay. Just move out. Just not to come in contact with the person to create another confusion. confusion. Okay, and what again? And also it's not like I'm not talking to the person too but Greetings will be okay, but I don't know whether the other side will also do so such a okay. So we just so you don't delete the number, no. just, just keep your distance. distance as well. Okay. When was your happiest day that you felt very happy within yourself? That you know that this is very, very much overwhelming to me. What was that time? And how was the experience like? Okay. It was just I think last week. What happened? I think when uh, it was on Tuesday, okay. I was expecting some money to pay my fees. Okay. Initially, I, I didn't know uh, any, any other way to pass through. I've done all the struggles here and there, but I didn't know. So I was just there and I spoke to one of my aunties okay. outside. Okay. So I was just there and then she was like, I should know my mobile number to her PM. I was just around, just ending the money. I was only fine. Maybe I'm telling you, I'm not been fine since some time. Okay. So I told her who I be with. She sent sixty percent of the school fees to her. I was like, I didn't have anyone to pay your to pay that fees for me at that moment. All those who were like, oh, they'll pay and stuff. No. You didn't know the time they have to what? Like the event or someone say the jail they are giving you. Okay. Okay. So like the way you are saying that uh, you don't have anyone to pay your fees, where is your dad and your mom? Oh dear, my dad is a pension, yeah. Wow. And my mom too, she does a normal business and stuff. Petty trade. Petty trade okay. and stuff. So you take care of yourself? Yeah, as in the school, yeah. yeah. School level. Sometimes they help some more. Okay, do you have any side business you do or how? Because you are schooling. What will you do for you to get money to pay your fees? Okay. So I think the last interview I did, I told I told you guys that 
and into the teaching field. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. For those who don't know, he's a teacher. So, oh, okay, let's continue. So, and aside that, I did a little bit of media. Okay. So, once in a while, if someone, if I'm getting, if I get a privilege to enter into a studio, I just give my best. Okay. And I okay. get something out of it. So okay. For myself. Okay, and also from the teaching, also. Yes, okay. Teaching also. okay, okay, okay. And that is very quite very cool of you. Okay. Well, we are moving on to your morning routine. Okay. Your morning routine. So when you wake up from bed, what do you do? How do you start your morning before entering into the afternoon the evening? So let's start. Your morning routine. How is your morning routine like? Okay, for a couple of months now, my morning routine has been very hectic. Wow. I have to wake up and dress up and go to work. Okay. That's in six or two. Okay. So you're not, okay. So as in, when I get a let uh quiet time or a leisure time at work, I look through some scriptures and then uh, get motivated and move. Okay. So day. are you the person who exercise when you wake up from bed? Not always. Not always. It's not a ritual that you do. No. Okay. Do you pray? Yes, but not not like you see every morning as I said, I just had to work. Okay. So when I go to school and I do those things. You do those things. That your day. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Have you encountered someone who has made you feel bad within yourself before? I don't. Okay. What a person did? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know that. I, I don't know how to say, but it, the person did a lot. As I said first mm -hmm. about the money, okay. that one was also one, and then another one was also it's just recently now. Uh, but I saw it to be something normal. Okay. It's a normal something. Okay. So let's move to love. What's the real definition of love? For now, I see love to be showing, uh, like, caring for someone, does it? Caring for someone. Okay. What's the type of woman you want to date? Um, I don't know, but, but I don't like a little bit. I don't like fast. Because me, I'm not. You are not on a yeah, So you want a normal, yeah, normal, a normal person. The conversation is getting very, very interesting and very, very interesting. Very much, but destiny yeah. is giving us so many things. There are still so many things. And I know that you are watching. You are also picking up something up from it. So we are going for just a quick break. When we come back, the conversation continues. Stick and stay. If you're just tuning in, you are still watching the Flamboyant Lifestyle interview. And we are still with Berema Ber Ber Destiny. The name is very, very, very interesting. He has said so many things about his lifestyle. He has said so many things that he's the person that has been paying his, heart, his fees. He's having six siblings. And he has said a lot. So without not wasting my time, let's continue from where we ended when we went for this quick commercial break. Okay, bro. We are back from this quick commercial break. Before we went for the commercial break, we were talking about the love issue. You said uh, love, the definition of love, what did you say again before you went for it? For me, for now, I, um, I define love to do, to care for the person. Yeah, caring. Yeah. Caring for the person. And I, I remember I asked you that, what was the specs of a woman that you really want to date? Yeah. Okay. I said, I, said, I don't want someone who is fat. Oh, that fat. Like normal. A normal yeah. person. Are you dating? No, I don't know. Okay, why are you not dating? I've passed a lot of uh, heartbreaks and stuff, so I have to pause for now and focus on my okay. education. Right okay. Now. How was the heartbreak like? Why, why, were you broke or can you not perform on bed? How was the heart, heartbreak like? And, and what like, was the issue? Just enlighten us so that we can learn something else from your heartbreak. It's like, it's, they always you see ladies want attention and time. Wow. So if you don't get attention and time for them, and they see that another man, they follow them. Wow. Yeah, and I'm just, for one person who that they have done they check them. I'm always at work, school, work, school, and church. So the girl you were dating end up breaking up with you because you were not having attention and time for her. Yeah. Okay. When you were dating, what was your mindset before entering into dating? Okay, my mindset was like to groom each other 
I mean, probably end up with me married. Okay, that was it. Okay, but I didn't know that I have to have time for the person. Or you I knew, knew it? I knew that because of work, I can't say. Because the same work I'm doing, that's what will give me a meal on. Okay, that was what will give you money. When yeah. she asked you money, you can be able to give her. Yeah. But because of time, what was her lifestyle like? Was she good? Was she. She what? is a normal person. Like okay. I think. Peer influence also. Okay. Not up. Okay. But not up the breakups. Yeah. Okay. So, how do you feel when he, she broke up with you? How do you feel? You are a man. You know I is like. Oh, I mean I don't know. So that's what I'm asking you. <laughs> how was the breakup like? You know. How did you feel? How was the feeling like? Like, where were you? Like, how were you thinking? Like, trying to put things together. I want to know the feeling. Yeah. How was the feeling? The heart is is. I don't know, but the heart is connected to my mind. Yeah. I don't know whether it's a vice versa. So, so far as anything like that happening, it's emotional. Okay. Emotional. You might do anything that comes to you, but if you don't have self control, you might end up end your life. Okay. So, when it came like that, I just have to control myself. Though I'm being pain, but I have to control myself and move on. Okay. So the controlling of yourself, what did you do? Were you sleeping early? Were you not uh, were chatting there? Did you off your phone or did you even throw your phone away? What did you do before you were able to control and brought things calm? Okay, so the first thing I did was to listen to music. Wow, what type of music do you know? Cools. Cools, okay. Yeah. Is it the loud ones or the big the oh, no. ones? No, 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 when you were listening to it, it makes you feel very calm. And what did you do again? And did you eat too much? Something like that. And drink too much. So that, like, as in, soft drinks, not. Okay, soft drinks. So that it's release. Oh. And I make sure I enjoy myself. As in, make enter entertain myself. Okay, what did you use to entertain yourself? The same thing, the, the music, 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 drinks, and, and all those things. And I'm so now, dancing and just. So now, are you okay now? Oh, I'm okay. Are you okay now? What type of girl do you like? It's not the specs, like, uh, when it comes to, like, a, a real girl that you like, like, the physical physique, you said about it, but the attitude and actual fact of a girl, what do you, what type of girl do you like? Okay, someone who, who understands me. Yeah, Understandable girl. You okay. know the work I do and okay. what I'm doing. And then gives the mind that, oh, this is what my girl does, so I have to follow the trend. Okay. Okay, so the person has to be cool for you, understand you, and also be calm. You feel like drop your number so that the single lady is watching can just call you. <laughs> if you are cool, boy, you don't want to drop it. <laughs> you know, the calls will be getting. If you are cool, you can box on. Yeah, you, can, you can drop it for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dating for you because if something says for do the phone again, you know, me, I will do you. <laughs> okay, so that's all the same. Okay, we have so many religions all over the world. We have Christianity, we have Akhenaten, we have Muslims, we have Buddhists, so many, many religions. What religion are you? I'm a Christian. A Christian? Mm -hmm. Why are you a Christian? I was born into Christian life, like I was born into them. You were born into a Christian life. Since you've grown, you can read, you can write, you understand where well, synonyms, antonyms and all those things. Do you still want to become a Christian? Sometimes I do change things I'm like. Sometimes I'll get to them one like if I wish I wish I was to be a Muslim. Sometimes I wish to be another thing, but the way the trend is moving, I just have to follow where I am. And I have to follow somewhere and then I'm diverting go back. So I have to just go with my Christian life. Okay. How as a Christian, you were born into Christianity. How can you be feeling that you want to become a Muslim? You want to become this? What's your thoughts? What have been triggering that, those things in your mind for you to switch the religion that you are in? So, sometimes it deals with the circumstance that you're in and peer pressure also is also part. Okay. Which circumstance did you find yourself in before your mind changed that you want to become a Muslim? Yeah. So let's say you are in need of something. Let's say you are in need of money. Okay. And then the money you are in need of. You don't get it. The same money you get, you send it to church and you pray for it. And if you don't come and tell you that, oh, 
have this malam. He has this, has this, that you need a lot of money. If you are being pressured like what you are going through and what you see, you will follow the train. But sometimes I just have to overlook those things and then follow my Christianity like that. Okay, so that's why maybe your mind will change that. Let me go and see this malam mm -hmm. for something to happen. It just, it just, it just come, but it will not happen like that. It will, it will just what? Like it just flashes my mind oh, let me go here, but it doesn't come, it just flash, and I just laugh at it and move. Okay, you just laugh at it and just mm -hmm. move away from it. Okay, so as a Christian, Christian, they do believe there's heaven and hell. Yes. Okay. So, what's your mindset about heaven and hell? Is it real in Christianity? As a Christian, that is, is, is say you're a Christian. Is yeah. it real? It's very real. Okay, so how can a person end up in heaven? Okay, that's where we have a lot of, we have commandments in the Bible. Okay. So when you obey the principles and go by what is being written in the Bible, it's a normal one priority that you be in heaven. But if you don't and you follow the word, you have to just put in your mind that you will be in hell, but sometimes it doesn't vary. Sometimes let's say you follow the principles, but just a day you do something that doesn't go contrary to it, you may miss your heaven. Okay. Sometimes someone will not follow the principles, but if he, he or she does the principles of God, he or she will meet her in heaven. Okay, so it varies. So that's the mindset that you have. Yeah. So do you think humans can follow the commandment of God? Not everybody. Not everybody, but some. some. How can some do it and some cannot do it? Yeah, so it was way back in uh, Noah's time. When Noah was very, very hard, he was evangelizing to the people. Out of, let's say, out of thousand people, so just eight people who followed him into the ark. Okay. okay. Okay, let me educate. I'm, a, I'm also a Christian. And you said so many things, and also, it's your opinion. Yeah. Everyone has his own opinion. Flamboyant lifestyle interview is there to educate people. We also let people know the truth. Because the truth has been hidden from a lot of people. Yeah. And still, a lot of people are seeking for it. So, if we get hold of the truth and we know, we don't have to keep it within ourselves. Yeah. We have to spread it so that people know. Let me chip in before we move on with the conversation. If you're a Christian, Christianity is full of liberty. You don't have to do anything in Christianity. God knows that me and you, we can't do anything. We can't follow the commandments according to the book of Esther chapter 20. That was. No one can do it. That's why God made Jesus Christ available for us to become a what? A righteous person. So Jesus Christ was there and Jesus Christ was being crucified. Jesus Christ was being baptized. The baptism is when Jesus Christ was being baptized. That was when God forgave us our sins. Because Jesus Christ was being baptized is when we wash away our sins. Sin that we sin today, tomorrow, yesterday. Sin that we don't even know that we are going to sin. God has already made Jesus Christ when he was being baptized. Yeah. So if you're a Christian, all you have to do is just to believe in the baptism of Christ. And also believe in the crucifixion. The crucifixion is when they crucified God, yeah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the same as God. When he was being crucified is when the the uh, one uh, uh, like when we were being transferred and being born again was being sanctified. So that was when it happened. So all you have to do is your feet. Believe in the baptism of Christ. Believe in the death of Christ. But we have something called the human nature or nature of nature in the world. If someone something is there and you go and take it, that's why we have prisons over there. You if the person get hold of you, the person can report you to them policeman, the policeman will get hold of you. If you go to prison, there's a room like this. This room is even big. About 700 people are in the room. You feel uncomfortable over there. But God doesn't care whether you still don't care. God did spiritual thing for us. But if you are being caught, you'll be you'll be what? You'll be brought to justice. So you have to what? You have to be okay. So if you want something for you, if you want something for yourself, you have to work hard and do what? Buy what you really want for yourself. And also, if you fornicate, you move from one girl to another girl, another girl, another girl. We have so many diseases all over. It's not because God has forgiven your sins, so you can do anything that you want. You can just move from Ajoa, Ikea, Ya, to all the... You, you, you get sickness. You have sickness. We have HIV. It's HIV, they have a medicine. The medicine is like this. It's very, very huge. You have to be drinking it 
every month, every three months, they have to go to the hospital to go and take that medicine. The reason why they become they, like each patient, they become slim is when they go to the water closet and they ease themselves. The water closet becomes very full. So imagine that someone is bringing out something else from his or her body and the water closet becomes very full. Look at the bigness of water closet. And someone is letting it to become full because of the sickness within that person. So if you are not indulging yourself into fornication and not doing that, you won't get that kind of what sickness within yourself. And also if you smoke, fine. But you are spoiling your own what your own lands. So we have nature. Everything that you do for yourself, it will bounce back to you. So if you smoke, you spoil your lands, you get sick, you can even die before your what your time. It's the same as when you fornicate from one woman to another woman, and it's the same as still. You don't have to still. Because when some people, if you still there's something and get hold of you. You might be beaten till you die. Recently, something happened in VIP station. I said, I went to steal something at the VIP station. The man was being beaten to death. But I'm just like, uh, justify you. You don't have to do that. So let me send this education. If you catch a thief, send the thief to the police station. No matter what the thief has done, send the thief to the police station. Don't be the thief to the, the thief to, uh, to die. That's why we have police people. They are protecting our lives. They are making sure there is law and order. In the country so when you catch a thief send the thief to the police station don't be the person or don't kill the person because don't put the, the law into your hands we are we are governed by a law so you people have to be very very careful yes we know that you suffered before you buy what you bought but the person to have to be what have to be brought to justice so that the police people can handle the what the issue so that's what is this so you are free god did something for you so you don't have to follow any command but you can't do it even if you if i can try it a day, human being lie about 50 something times a day, 50, 53,000 times a day within a lie. Sometimes you might think, Oh, I, I didn't lie. But before you realize, you lie. Even this phone, Oh, Charlie, where are you? Maybe you're in a gap, you, but you tell the person you're in condition. You mm -hmm. lie. In the sight of God, it's, it's a sin. And God doesn't sin, sin, big or small. Every sin is what? Sin. Mm -hmm. But our human beings have justified some sin than some sin. Some, some people have justified. I've glorified like oh maybe fornication is a sin more than still. Every sin is what sin. And it's in the eyes of God, every sin is sin. So I've just educated you on that. So don't let anyone tell you that you have to follow this there or follow that. You can't follow it. Okay, if you are, you are able to follow it, God will not let Jesus Christ to do what? Come to our aid. No one can do it. So if you are if you are watching, you are free. Just have faith. Believe in the baptism of Christ and believe in the blood of Christ. And if you die today, you have a justified place to work to go. And I've said about the law of nature. Make sure you apply it and live a peaceful life. Follow your dreams and let everything work together for good for someone who really wants to work, have this or so in heaven. Okay, so we are moving on to conversation. What was the time that you feel very calm, but you have and inspirational ways that you use to inspire yourself. What ways do you tell yourself when you wake up from bed? Or when you are about to do something within yourself? So... I call it affirmation. What affirmation do you have? Okay, so I always... There's this quote I always say, that whatever the circumstances, I don't have to stay at one place. I have to push for it. Okay. And you press on to victory. Okay. That's what you've been telling yourself every day yeah. so that it will alert you. Okay, we are coming to the, uh, the end of the conversation. You've said a lot, and I know that our, our interview is going to let people have change of mind because the power of God is within this interview, and everything will work together for good. We'll be watching this. I want you to look into the lens of the camera. Motivate someone who has, if the person is not having faith. The person wants to kill him myself right now. The person doesn't know what to do with his or her life. The person wants something very bad, but the person is not getting bad. The person wants to find so many ways and means to get at it. Look into the lens within 50 seconds. Tell that person something so that we move on from here. Okay. So, um, what I have to tell the public or whoever is watching is that, um, so far as what we are human, we go through a lot. And you going to a God doesn't mean that that's the end of your life. If that was to be the end of your life, like Jesus Christ have, could have died a long time ago. But he pressed on. So in life, challenges come to make us stronger and firm. 
some challenges will come, you may think that's the end. But no, that's the, that's the beginning of your life. So just press on, press forward. There are lots ahead of you. So don't look at that and say, because of this, you are going to kill yourself. No. You killing yourself is even going to end you up somewhere in hell. So just press forward and get to where you want, you want to get to. That's it. Thank you very much. Okay. So just press forward and you are going to get to where you really want to want, want to end. By Barry Mapa Destiny. I go by the name Flamboyant Lifestyle. Thank you very much for your time. For watching this interview. Please don't be selfish. If you are watching this interview and you've watched to the end. Please share this interview. Put it in groups. Send it to all your contacts. All the contacts on your phone. Send it to them. Because one word in this interview is going to change someone's life. Only one way. There's no plenty where that change people's life. Only one way. Don't be selfish. Put it in group. I'm, I'm saying it again. Put it in groups. And also make sure that you let people to subscribe. It's flamboyant lifestyle on YouTube. Flamboyant what lifestyle. Subscribe it. Subscribe. Let the auntie, uncle, grandma, any person closer to you to subscribe to the what to the channel. God richly bless you. And make sure that anything that you really want to do with your life, be focused, be determined, consistency, you definitely reach there. Because there's nothing about that thing. There's no easy way. All you have to do is just to pass through what I said. And everything is going to work out. Bye-bye.